Okay. All right. Here we go. We got the uh, trade zero uh, go, dashboard up We usually here. go to the losers and then the winners. Let's start where winners or losers. We'll start with the losers today. So Joel's going to go to the net losers. This is what's down the, the most out of some of the big companies that we watch. First Solar leading the charge. We already talked them. They got the downgrade from City. Uh, BNTX is down five bucks here. I did not look at the news on BNTX. I'm, I, you know, I've been a fan more of Moderna than BNTX, and I've talked about that potential for a pair trade of long Moderna, short BNTX. Let's go look what the BNTX news. Is I, here. you know what? I am not, I am not seeing any news in BNTX. Uh, boom! Since uh, maybe you could find something here about I'm going uh, hunting. Yeah, you go hunting. Well, I will take a look at look the, the price action. All right, the technicals are ugly here. Uh, we've come off this 130 area extremely hard. Trading, you got a step down seller here. 113 is the low of the pre market session. Do I have anything for you? Yes, I do, folks. If you're looking for a potential with a capital P, potential support point BNTX, that comes in at 110 even. That's three bucks away. Triple D, you got the news on it. Uh, still hunting here, actually, yeah. but there is some drug news. Um, oh, I'm just trying to write all this. I don't understand as I'm reading some jargon. All right. First solar. I just want to say that, uh, that, uh, that, uh, downgrade, uh, to sell, which is a nasty word on wall street. That's still working. It's uh way down here. Uh, pre-market low just came in at two ten fifty one. Uh, we mentioned uh, a couple lows near the under the 210 area. So if you're looking at the next daily low, 20801 uh, Micron here. There's a big stock trade in there. And yeah. One yeah. of my worst trades of the month was Micron, and I was short and just so happened. I remember I got run over on that. What? I don't even remember the news, but I went from like 58 to like 64 overnight. And I was like, are you kidding me? Anyways, I took the brunt. I, that was That hit my month hard that micron trade it was an overnight trade i don't even remember what the news was on it now it was like it was the samsung it was the samsung that samsung were... lowering demand lowering yeah supply. yeah yeah, low, yeah. <laughs> and then they thought that's good for micron. it's leaked it all back so you know it's it's come back it's taken about 10 days but it's now leaked away all those gains here it keeps topping out the same spot just struggling 63 64 bucks keeps struggling oh, oh look at that on the monthlies holy mackerel Look at that that area. I'd see three, four, five different highs on the monthlies there in Micron. Trading in the red, 59.50. I would say if you've been waiting for a gap fill, I think that's the day you got tan, Dennis. Uh, it'd oh, be yeah, a tan. gap fill at uh, 59.15 would be a gap fill. Uh, no, we're not too far away from that. Let's do one more on the downside here. And, uh, man, oh, man, I'm seeing a lot of China stocks here. I see uh, Baidu. Uh, that's traded down a buck sixteen. That's been straight down. Pin duo duo. Ugly. Uh, yeah. What's going on in China? Well, I don't know, but we've seen them give back basically all of these gains. So we said this last week. You've pulled back enough now here that you know you look at Baba's giving back over half the move. Baidu's giving back the entire move. JD just continues to make new lows. I still feel like the geopolitical risk, which keeps me out of these stocks, is showing up in the stock charts and. Again, if there was an invasion of Taiwan, these stocks would all gap down 10% plus on that day. I don't think maybe even more. I don't think that's imminent here, but it's not a zero. Never know. Point. It's not a zero. Like, it's not a zero probability. You know, is it a 50% probability? I don't want to put that high either, but it's there. And it's what keeps me out of China. I have very little China exposure, and I'm scared to buy these stocks. I'm just scared of the tape bomb of saying something that even, you know, you know, even, you know, makes you think about, you know, war. But I don't think it's off the table. And I think that's what's being priced into these China stocks here once again. Taiwan Semiconductor has come off. You can say it's slowing demand. You can say it's a lot of things. But I just think there's a lot of people who are nervous about the geopolitical risk in owning China stocks. All right. Let's accentuate the positive here. Let's go to uh, the stocks that are making a move to the upside here. And uh, what's catching your eye here, Triple D? At top of the list. ASML. We don't really talk. That's about a money that. Mitch stock, though. Um, he talks about that one every once in a while. I don't trade it very much because it's an ADR, and why that I don't trade that is because it's pricing overseas. So when you know I'm trading ASML here, I'm trading it, you know, on the secondary market. 
because the primary market is overseas and the high frequency traders are just keeping the spread. So you've always got that spread. So there's not a lot of like real action in there. It's mostly just like what Tim would say, that fast money action that's keeping that spread. And if you look at the algorithms, you can see them automatically adjust their prices as the price moves in Europe, they automatically adjust. And they're trying to pick up a 40 cent spread on you. I don't like paying that 40 cent spread. Yeah, it's a $600 stock, but there's other places to be. So it's difficult to trade these stocks when you're in the secondary market. And that's what we are. And that's why I don't trade ASML. How about ENPH moving the opposite here at First Solar this morning? Yeah. Uh, it's been a serial un underperformer here. Uh, but boy, you got good support at the 225. Is that a 225? No, that's a 220 area. Trading up here on 8,000 shares. Kind of a tight range. Maybe take a look at this 227 Something about new area. micro inverters. I'm just looking at the pro oh, headline the new, there. Yeah. Enphase launches new IQ8 micro inverters for high powered solar modules in Spain and Portugal. That headline broke at 8 o'clock. So um, it's got a little bit of a lift on there. Uh, we have seen this ENPH and First Solar going completely opposite directions. Oh, so, yeah. you know, if you're pair traders in First Solar and ENPH, that's been a tough, you know, pair because they seem to have no relationship whatsoever. They go opposite ways. But um, we're starting to see oil break down here right now. If you're wondering why, you know, we're starting to see the S&P just leak back a little bit here, which we haven't talked about, is oil just starting to leak here a little bit this morning. Not a massive breakdown, but oil definitely leaking here this morning. 